Hey, man, I'm going to show y'all all the best jump shots in NBA 2K24 for all builds, all heights, all ratings, so you can have a way more enjoyable experience. Share this to someone who can't shoot. There should be a lot of people y'all share this video to, man, because I play with randoms all the time. No one can shoot in the game for some reason. Y'all are always on the search for these jump shots. Y'all don't use them. You just lost. Fix your ego. I don't need a YouTuber. Stop it. Get some help. Before we get into it, y'all make sure y'all subscribe and like. Show love. Now, firstly, put your shot time and visual cue on release, man. It gives you the most time to react to whatever animation that your player is getting. This is the best visual cue. You think this don't matter? Put it on something different than you use and watch you start missing. This is the easiest to read. Gives you the most time to react. Most visible, usually. Just trust me, man. Try it. Also, if you actually play the game leave elite and join rise so this account is already 90 so we not doing it right look if you could get back up to starter one leave elite if you can get up to starter one easily and you like play this game you love it for some reason leave elite and join rise heat check is amazing this two-way tenacity does nothing they don't fix it they made heat check stupid op you can shoot from anywhere it's ridiculous you just get three little layups or dunks in a row and you just get to shoot from anywhere and then by that time your takeovers there it's just stupid i don't i don't understand though so look this is a good jump shot for y'all bigs that don't have no attributes for your shooting you only got low rock with this it's a, it's a good release a good green window and you only need a 66. Now look at 82, Jonathan Isaac, you shoot over people. It's another good release, try it out. There's another good release, you really get to shoot real high, shoot over people, plus you tall as hell, but it's a little slower than the one I just showed you. Now here's probably my favorite big man jump shot. For some reason I could hit with this a lot better, but you need a higher rating to uh, unlock this. And we got the young Eric, now you go forward, it's not as good as the other ones, but it's still a decent uh, big jump shot. Now this is my favorite Patty Mills jump shot so far. I used to do it half speed, but now I do it this one, and it, it's even easier to hit with. I think people lied saying that you can't hit with it max speed i never tried at max speed but this is the best jump shot in the game so if you got a little build and you unlock this you have to grind for this uh i think it's starter one or is it starter three i think you unlock it at starter three but uh it's the best jump shot for small guards now this is probably gonna be the most important jump shot in the game that y'all need to recommend to people it's the baby t mac if you messed up your build and didn't get an 87 midi or three point because t max the best jump shot in the game you need to be using culver it's better than the jt door everything else that is below I, when i switched to this everything became hella easy this is the for your poppers your big iso builds your, your iso locks this is the jump shot you need to use you need to be recommended and you will see that you can shoot way more consistent man. Now, here's the best jump shot in the game that i like to use that i found to be the most consistent with man i'll be going crazy with shooting and it looked like i got some super high midi this is the t-mac that i'm using man. now look if for some reason you made a small build that doesn't have a high midi or three point y'all gotta stop trying to be over creative <laughs> but look try this jump shot it's pretty decent especially for a 79 uh midi or three point try it out and uh y'all let me know if y'all uh find some success with it man now if you don't have patty mills use this jump shot right here curry is gonna be uh, your best bet secondly now if you don't like curry for some reason use the baby ai for the little guard shoot over and if you're used to t mac or culver you you're used to this type of release but it's on a smaller build so alan iverson what you should try out if uh you don't like culver and to get all your hot spots dog if you really struggling my career 12 minute quarters on rookie thank me thank me later that method seems to be easier than the street ball method met the street ball method still seems pretty easy but my career 12 minute rookie that seemed crazy easy a lot of people don't know about that bro and you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I want to show y'all this right here, guys. This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots. And they're going to play. And then they're whining about the game especially this year since the rebirth right it gets you the silver badges or whatever people aren't getting their hot spots and maxing out their shooting badges you have to do it literally this right here look y'all are playing and you don't even got this max 
How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI Magician. Bro, are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time. But look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You wanna max this hole out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing a badge updates on all the uh, shooting badges first. I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. It's not even close. When you play with, without this, and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That Catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you gotta get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what but I know overall, when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator, max that hole. Watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole. Watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You want to max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hole out. Before you say like, shooting this and that and that and this. The, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying. Broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen, you feel me? I'm telling you, bro, max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall, all of them, right? I just don't have the time yet. This is a new build, by the way, this is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day, all these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones. 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But yeah. look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency, but you have to let it go before Q of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, L -l -l listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K. And there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know? You know, it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads. Yeah, just <sighs> turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost 
without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, Jump Shot Boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade. You can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took Gym Rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. Never thought about that, huh? Now one more thing, in every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback, you could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. They be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could. Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. It's the top of the dome.